In today's video, brought to you by Maven Asset Management, let's explore the new Maximo Inventory Countbook functionality. So to do that, we're going to break the video down into four areas. First, we'll start with a very top-level feature overview. And then in the second area, we're going to explore those really important steps we need to take to set up the functionality in both the desktop and mobile applications. In the third step, we're actually going to create a count book in Maximo desktop application. And then in the fourth item, we'll switch over to Maximo mobile and take on the role of an inventory clerk who's actually going to perform the count of the items contained within the count book. So let's start with the feature overview. First, it's very exciting because now inventory count books are included in Maximo Core with the Maximo Application Suite or MASS. Count books were previously only available with IBM's Maximo Transportation application, but again, with the move to MASS, one of the features is count books is brought into inventory module or inventory core. So this is going to be really important for you to understand as you look at your app point allocations. The second thing that we want to highlight is why do we like count books? Well, we have physical counts today in Maximo Core, but count books enable us to group items into sets or categories that we can count. Maybe it's a group of important inventory items that we want to count on a more regular basis, or maybe we want to perform a count of all our pumps or all our valves, whatever that case may be. That's a real feature set of inventory count books. And again, for inventory count books, it's important to remember there's two applications, one where you create it on the desktop app, and then the second one where you actually perform the count on Maximo Mobile. So now let's look at some of the setup steps. So when we look at the setup, and first let's focus on the desktop application, there's a couple of things that we need to do. First, you need to go into your organization that you're setting this up for and define the tolerances, how great a tolerance you're going to have a min and a max level on your inventory count options. I'm not going to go into a lot of details here, and this values are set up by default, but just again want to highlight that you may want to look at those tolerances that are enabled for you. The other thing that is very important for you to do and that there are no values delivered out of the box is two domain values for count books. One is count book ICG. That's where you're going to define what your count book types are. Maybe you want to define them for some A items, those critical items that you may have. Maybe you want to define them for a classification, a pump, a, a vehicle, whatever it might be. This is where that domain value is that you have to define those. And then what is the reason you're doing the count book? Again, this is a domain value count book reason, and you'll want to make sure that you define those values also. Once you get those base admin settings set up, you now have to look at security. Security is not enabled for inventory count books out of the box. So you have to go in for your desktop users in the security group applications, filter for the count book app. And again, remember the desktop application and make sure it's available for those inventory people that are going to create the individual count books. And then for the people or the individuals who are actually going to perform the counts themselves, you have to do the same thing in the Maximo security group option for Maximo mobile. But in this case, when you're searching in the application of the security group, make sure you switch over to tool. This is, again, the mobile application. You look for inventory counting and make sure that that is enabled. There are some earlier versions of inventory count book for Maximo Mobile that did not have the object structure access enabled. So if you have any issues or you just want to double check that everything is coming across properly, make sure that each one of these object structures, which you can find on the object structure tab after you have that highlighted, make sure that they're all enabled for read and save access. Again, this is mass version dependent, but it's just a quick double check that you'll want to do. The other thing that we want to draw your attention to for security for Maximo Mobile is two, two items that are very important, and this relates to what the user in Maximo Mobile will see. 
First off, inventory counting is set up to display the default storeroom for that logged in user. So I'm going to show you a demonstration where I'll log in as the demo user. And the demo user, in my case, has access to this storeroom and storeroom site. So that's what he's going to see available for the count books. And how do we know that, right? This is the other part of putting all the pieces together, how this all flows. And that's where we want to draw your attention again to those object structures, which are used so heavily in Maximo Mobile, and the query, the query that is driving those results that the user sees in his count book application. So again, if we go to the object structure application, look for the object structure MX API count book as it's spelled here, and then look for the action query definition. And as you scroll down, when you look down here from mobile count book, this is the query. So this is the query that is driving the count book results the user will see in Maximo Mobile. And that's again why you see that default storeroom is so important. So now let's head over to Maximo and let's create a count book. Okay, excellent. Here we are in the Maximo Application Suite or MASS. And let me first draw your attention to the menu. As I come down here and open up the inventory module, Notice that count books is included. So again, count books is included in the inventory module in the Maximo application suite, which brings you greater functionality and also can potentially have an impact, a positive impact on the app points you require. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. So I'm simply gonna open up the count book application and let's create a record. So I'm going to either click click new count book or the plus. I'm gonna select the plus because I'm here. And let me consolidate the menu on the left so you can see what I'm doing. Well, today we're gonna to create a count book for some valves. So I'll call this my valve count book. And I'm just simply gonna follow along the fields like any application that we have in Maximo. Our storeroom is FGAD. That populates my field over here for my description. And now let's look at the reason. So this is one of the domain values that we highlighted. So again, we inputted these three values. I'm going to select a check. I can input some more information here, demo information, da 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 da. I'll go ahead and put that in there so that displays. But now let's draw your attention to the next required field, which is selection type. If I click on the lookup, you can see the values that I have. Now I won't highlight these all in detail, but you can see there's a variety of items or classifications or categories for me to choose from. I have a value of all. Maybe I wanted to do this if I had a mobile storeroom on a truck and I wanted to do a count of those items. That's a great use case for that value. Maybe I want to do a bin or a counting frequency based on date but I'm gonna draw your attention to the ICG value. As soon as I select that, it's gonna come down here and populate the row value. So what, it is, it's, what it's saying to me is, what's their criteria for the ICG? So the ICG is the second domain value that we selected, and I had populated it with a variety of values shown here. You can use whatever values you like. I'm gonna come in and say, I wanna look at my valves. Now what's really important as I select that value is now to draw your attention to the count book lines. So what are those inventory items that I need to specifically count with the criteria that ICG equals valves? Well, as I save this, it's gonna go ahead and it should populate my count book lines and it does with 27 individual items and you can see my item numbers that are shown over here. So before we highlight how that was actually put into place, while we're here in count books, I wanna draw your attention to two other things. First, I probably wanna give a owner to this. So let me come over here and filter for a demo user who I'm gonna use for Maximo Mobile. You can see he's populated there. But the other thing that we have with this record, like many records in Maximo, is we have statuses. So for this count book to show up in Maximo Mobile, I have to change the status. It either has to be approved or in progress. 
whoppered or canceled, uh, count books would not display in Maximo Mobile, and I'm going to go ahead and select OK. So again, we're going to look for this one specifically in Maximo Mobile. It's our Valve count books. But again, before we do that, let's head on over to Inventory and see where these 27 items are coming from. So I'm going to come over here to my recent applications, come up into Inventory, and I actually have a query set up for this, and it's a count book demo, or excuse me, count book valve demo. And notice right away it brings up the 27 items that I had in my count book lines. Well, how does that happen? Well, let's take a look at the where clause first. That's always important. What does my where clause say? Well, it says that my ICG, or that inventory count group, value equals valves, and there's the site and location or storeroom that I had specified. But again, where is this ICG field coming from? Well, let's open up one of these items, which is 10 or 137, and I'm gonna scroll down here and you can see that there's a new field that's been added to support the count book application, and that's count group. If I do an alt I on that, you can see what its field or object name is in value. There's the ICG. And again, I'm going to use the values that had been defined from my domain, and here's the one for valves. So it's looking at, again, for those 27 items, it's bringing in any item that had the ICG equal to valve. So that's where we have that correlation between our inventory and count book application. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into Maximo Mobile and let's do a count on one of those items that is included in our valve count book. Now let's switch roles and be the user who's actually going to perform the inventory count of the items in the count book. So I've signed in as a new user, and if I come over here and I look at my profile, you can see I'm signed in as user demo. Now I was originally going to show you Maximo Mobile, but I also wanted to highlight that I don't have to only use Maximo Mobile to use inventory counting. I can use what we call a role-based app. These are the substitutions for our work centers. Well, what does that mean? Well, under here, notice that I'm in a connected mode and I select inventory counting and imagine I'm doing this on my tablet and I can come over here and see my count books. Again, open that up and I can see that I now have two records. This is the one that we just created, our demo for our Valve count books. This is the count book number. You can see that there were 27 items on there and they're overdue. So what I want to do is this inventory technician is get going and I want to check these or count these items. If I open it up, I can see the number of 27 items that I have. I could search if I wanted to do that. But if I had a barcode, which is very likely, I'm going to scan it and bring up the item so I can enter that value. But I can go ahead and put in an item of 12. And now my input, or excuse me, my count book number drops from 27 to 6. So I can save that value, and then I want to go in, and again, I'll show you this also in Maximo Mobile, but just wanted to highlight that you could also perform the count of the inventory with the role-based application inventory counting in a connected mode. Here I am, I'm signed into Maximo Mobile, I'm signed in as that same user, and I'm going to come down here into Inventory Counting. I see two components, count books, which we've been focused on. I also have the ability to do an ad hoc count. If I open up the count books, I can see that I have two count book records, the chemicals which have been previously created, and my demo valve count. So that is the 27 count items, or ICG items that I have. I'm going to go ahead and notice that if I open that up, it's going to show me that I had 26 in process and one that I had counted and I had previously counted when I was showing the role-based application. Again, as an inventory clerk, I would most likely use my barcode to scan over the item so I could quickly put it in, but imagine I'm just going to come in here and put seven and then that moves that over from the in-progress number to 25 to 2. So inventory counting, count book functionality, so powerful. Highly recommend that you try it. Um, and I can just, again, come back here, and I want to make sure that I save those. And I can see now 
that my number has gone if I refresh this from 25 in progress to two that are counted. So that was just a very quick demonstration of the inventory count book application. So again, we created a count book in the desktop application, and then we performed the individual counts in both the role-based connected mode and over here in Maximo Mobile. So thank you very much for your time.